Hey YouTube, it's Cousin Dan again. Uh, you know, all my videos are different, all my subscribers know that. Um, but this one is different in the way that I'm taking a YouTube video that's already online and I'm going to post it in the uh, section below this so you can click on that and watch it right now, like pause it right now and watch it, that'd be a good thing. Um, and then uh, I'm going to discuss a new idea that kind of builds off of that video. Um, it's, it's about breeding ble bleeding brake lines and um, I have a trick that I think can be useful. Um, for those people who really like to do things with oomph, you know, uh, this is for them. Um, what you need to do, uh, it's another way of bleeding the brake. In that video, the guy shows you take an oil can and you pump it and it bleeds the brake line, but that's kind of a labor-intensive way to do it. Also, this way is more fun. You take the bleeder valve on the nearest brake caliper, since they use kind of the same res the same reservoir, the almost the same system, and you and you put a tube, the same kind of tube as he shows in the video, off of that bleeder valve from the nearest brake caliper to the actuating cylinder or the slave cylinder of the clutch, and you link the two. You loosen both bleeder valves and you link the two with a hose. Then you can kind of see where this is going. You start up the car. You don't have to start the car, but it helps because then you get the vacuum from the engine helping out with your power brakes. And you press slowly the brake pedal. And what happens is your brake system forces fluid down to that caliper and straight out the bleeder valve. Well, it's going through the tube into the bleeder valve of the um, clutch mass, uh, slave cylinder. And you're actually going to bleed backwards and the bubbles are going to go up towards the reservoir. Make sure your clutch pedal is all the way out, otherwise it can't get past the uh, master cylinder and that is bad. You'll probably just break your tube or something like that. Um, but it actually pushes it up. If you run out, uh, you can actually just kink the hose. Like if, if your pedal gets all the way to the floor before the bubbles come out the top, you can kink the hose that's connecting the two cylinders, the two bleeder valves, and then let the brake pedal out and then unkink the hose and press it down again until you get all the fluid out, all the bubbles out, and you actually use your power brake system in a full loop to bleed your clutch. Now the beauty of this is, it doesn't matter what's, what needs to be bled. If your brakes need to be bled and your clutch is okay, then you just connect the two and you use your clutch pedal for that. You clutch it and it forces the fluid through. You know, it's the same thing. It's just which which way which way do you need to move the fluid based on where the air bubbles are. That's all you need to take into account when you do this. Anyway, I just thought you guys would like to know. It's a nice little trick my friend Jim showed me, and uh, it's pretty nifty. So if anybody really is having trouble with uh, bleeding your brakes or their clutch uh, slave cylinder, that's an easy way to do it, especially if it's cold outside and the fluid's moving really sluggishly. Sometimes it's really hard to do the two-man system. Also, if you only have one man to work with, that's a great way to do it. You know, you could always follow the way the guy in the video did it that I have linked below. But this is kind of fun because you're using a power brake system to bleed the next one. It's, it's kind of a closed loop system to bleed itself. Anyway, I thought it was a cool idea. Don't forget to subscribe, send me any comments or questions, whatever.